Welcome back to the Tidy Room Hanger. This is Mike. Today I want to talk to you about the Mattel Creations Eternia playset. The quick update. We have 18 days left in this campaign. There are 8,108 backers. It only needed 5,000 to back. 550 plus shipping and taxes for this item. So it ends on November 10th. Where do we go from here? Let's talk about this. Okay, so this thing did back within the first week, and I think a big part of it was the King Grayskull additional figure. So, the project would have backed anyway. Even if they didn't throw in one figure, this would have backed. But the fact that you had to back it in the first week to get King Grayskull is why I believe that it fully funded within the week, and and then some. So it went to 8,000. But since it funded, and now going forward, anybody that backs it now till the end of this November 10th, anybody else that backs it will not get this figure. And so that's really slowing it down because, oh, I missed out. But at the end of the day, the set itself is worth the 550. That's what people are in it for. You know, it's much cheaper than 4,000 on the secondary market getting a vintage one, but it's a massive, impressive playset. But going forward, you're not gonna have this guy. Okay, since we cracked the 8,000 already, the moat monster on the left, that is already going to be included. And so now we have to hit 10,000 to get this guy here. Now, there were some fuzzy images. I don't know if they're accurate or not, but there's a 12,000 tier that has been hinted that some female character. So with that, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get Keklar, the one on the right. And as for this female character, 12,000, I don't know. They probably won't show that, until we hit the 10,000 because if it doesn't hit 10,000 then why would they expect to go to 12,000 and that kind of stuff so with all of this the unlocks are great they're nice but they don't really make up the full value of the playset. it's just nice to get more people on board but here's the thing about this I believe by the wording they put out we're getting all these figures sent to us before we actually get the playset. so they're gonna manufacture these figures and send them to us so we're gonna get something along the way that's kind of fun right all right, so the next thing I want to talk about is the billing of this. Now, a lot of people had questions, when is this going to hit your credit card? Well, I backed it day one, and it was pending in right away and as a pending charge. But it didn't actually switch from pending to non-pending until after it backed. So it was after it hit the 5000 So if you do back this today, it probably has two days of pending. That's usually how long it takes on a credit card, and then it's going to go through. So it's billing right away right now it billed me i already paid for mine so on my credit card so with that that's kind of the way it's going there's a lot of questions about that the wording people were hoping it doesn't build till november 10th which would have been nicer for me but at the end of the day it's still not the end of the day and end of the campaign for me it's not a big problem but it would have been nice to float that off now i hear there's some sort of payment programs now i don't know because i back mine i didn't try to back another one to see those or any of that kind of stuff because uh, I'm not going to order anymore. I, mean, I already got what I've got. But with the whole situation right there, just be prepared to pay for it. And it's not going to wait till the end of the program to bill you. Now, here is an issue that I reached out to one of my buddies and said, Hey, would you tell me how much they're charging you in the UK? And in the UK, they're charging 800 bucks. And so I, I got the little screen grab from them that it's eight, well, it's not 800 bucks, it's 800 pounds. Okay, so I just put into the conversion, I'm not gonna screenshot or anything, I just put it in. 800 pounds sterling converts to 904 US dollars for what we're paying 550 for. So I don't understand that. I don't know why that is the way it is. Uh, some people are saying that it's the additional shipping that they're adding on to it. They're still gonna charge everybody the $50 shipping. Then I saw a strange shipping chart out there. So at the end of the day, you really don't know how much this is out the door until you go to checkout. And some people in other countries are being charged ridiculous prices overall for this. So the 550 is is high, that's not bad. But when you're looking at 800 pounds converted over to 904, plus the taxes and shipping and all that kind of stuff on it, you're out a grand. A lot of people in other countries are have to pay $1,000 for this because of the size, I guess. But 
but at least that's better than what HasLab did with the cell barge and just cut off about 78% of the world could not order it. So how has this impacted the secondary market? So looking at the secondary market of these, not one full set of Eternia has sold since October 11th, according to what eBay shows. Sometimes people do delete their listings, so you can't search them. So there's a couple of other factors in there, but the selling of vintage has slowed to almost a stop because of this new program here. So I guess once the funding's over, anyone that missed out might go back to trying to buy a vintage one. But for now, it seems like vintage attorneys have stopped selling on eBay almost entirely. And that doesn't mean that there's a lack of them on eBay. There's quite a few on eBay for sale. They're just not selling because this is so much cheaper to get the new modern updated version. Speaking of eBay, there are a bunch of listings out there for people that are trying to sell them to you, sell you the actual uh, attorney and play set for the Mattel Creations, the new one, the Origins one. And they're asking like 850. So basically there's, what I'm understanding, this is kind of a drop ship situation to where you buy it from them, they go to Mattel Creations, plug your information in as the address to ship it to is what I'm hearing. Do not buy it on eBay for something that's not gonna be out until 2024. So spring of 2024, do not buy that on eBay. That is a ridiculous idea. If you miss the funding, then you just need to wait till they come out. And if you are watching this right now, you got time to fund it. And I understand you might not have time to get the funds to fund it, but you have time to back it. So kind of figuring it out if you're in on it. And of course, if you truly can't afford it, and if it's really gonna be a burden on you and your family, then then pass and then just enjoy from afar. Because it's one of those things, you gotta have the space for it, and then of course you gotta have it in your budget. And it's not for everybody. This is not a project for the masses. Let's get back to why this is not at retail, it's a crowdfund. Now, I don't want everything to be a crowdfund. I don't wanna to have to go buy every Master Universe figure from Mattel Creations. I don't want to have to get every vehicle or every single thing from Mattel Creations. But big vehicles and big play sets have not had a place at retail for a long time. I enjoyed the 2011s, 12s, 13s when I was buying $150 vehicles for $35 on clearance. Those That was fun, that was great, but that makes retailers not wanna reorder. And if retailers don't order the stuff, then it doesn't get made. So we had two options. They could crowdfund it or it not get made. And that's it. If you want to really get into a debate and argue about it should have been $300 at retail because it probably could have been three, 350, maybe 400 at the most at retail if they made 150,000 of them. But they're only going to make 10 or 12,000 of these. And as you can see, that's all that the demand was for this. I'll even back that up. What if it goes to retail and they make a... 130,000 send them to retail which the retailers don't want them and then they still only sell like 5,000 and they have to clearance out the rest of them well hey they took a loss a massive loss on the vintage one back in the day and then getting back to this somebody pointed out the vintage one had a ramp that connects the green tower to the big blue center tower and that that ramp no longer exists or it's not in these pictures anywhere and so I don't know how big of a deal it is to people, but that ramp, or I don't know if it's even called a ramp, maybe it's called a bridge or something like that, but it's missing from this. In this picture here, you can see this example of said ramp or said bridge or whatever connecting that connects the green tower to the blue tower that does not exist on the modern origins version. So I don't know if that's just something they didn't put on there. Is it gonna be included? So that's just another point that somebody brings up. I hear a lot of conversation about this, watch a lot of videos, get other people's ideas and thoughts. And, and I like to pass all this along to you guys. And I also want to go back to the point that we are still going to be getting a retail release of Snake Mountain that is updated. And it's really an amazing looking Snake Mountain. So I was kind of at the point that I was thinking, why would we need a Snake Mountain? You can go get a, a real cheap vintage one, but the fact that it really didn't have really good features on the inside, and this has amazing features on the inside. This whole playset might even be worth it just for the skeleton throne 
for Skeletor. That Bone Throne looks really awesome. That's, that's really cool. So there's a lot of good features with this. I expect this to be about the $100 price point at retail. And everybody's trying to equate math from the original Origins Castle Grayskull price of about $75. And then say, well, Eternia should cost so much. But guess what? At the original Castle Grayskull price of $75, with the 30% inflation every year and 8% that they actually tell you, this should be about 100 So I'm quite excited about this Eternia project. Eternia has been unattainable to me all along. I've only seen the towers themselves. I've never seen one set up in person. In person I've seen poor condition towers and everybody asked way more than I was willing to spend. I was impressed though with the size and scale of those towers because they are pretty big. Even the smaller towers are pretty tall. The big center one is quite amazing. It's quite a feat. So it's quite an interesting playset. I am going to set this up and rework my entire display around this playset. I got another year and a quarter <laughs> to get it done. So let me, know, let me know what you think. Are you in on this? Are you out on this? Are you watching from the sidelines? And did you get any good information out of this video? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Tell Jeremy Hanger out.